It is. Tons of it out there in the atmosphere. You can get it from water, you can get it from agricultural byproduct, sewage. So there are landfills out there where you can extract pure hydrogen. Isn't that good news? Now that is sustainability. And that's why a lot of energy experts think and say that hydrogen fuel cell technology is here to stay and is going to be very viable as we go forward. So this is one option in addition to your natural gas vehicles. Toyota has a natural gas Camry. We feature that several times. And your plug-in hybrids, like our plug-in Prius hybrid that's coming out uh, around March. And we have this NS4, that's another concept, plug-in hybrid idea. That would be the next generation of plug-in hybrid technology. So a lot of options. But the fuel cell technology, again, extremely abundant, first of all, hydrogen, very abundant. And it's also very, very efficient once you put it inside the fuel cell stack. So this doesn't have an engine in it that we're used to, no gas engine. It has a fuel cell stack. And inside that stack, uh, you have materials that will separate the hydrogen molecule. And you're just separating that little electron out of hydrogen, and it travels down the little path, and it creates electricity, a little electrical current. And you're generating one volt of energy from each cell. That's why you have to have a bunch of them inside that stack. And then what happens is the electron meets up with the oxygen and it creates the byproduct. Anybody know what the byproduct is? We've got a prize for you. I heard water over here. Would you like a uh, prize? It's a hand sanitizer. Did somebody say it over there? That was you? Excellent. Yeah, step forward here. So water vapor is the only thing that comes out of the tailpipe. How cool is that? Extremely green. Zero emissions. on board and they're wrapped in Kevlar and all kinds of materials that keep them uh, from going anywhere because they are pressurized at 10,000 pounds per square inch of hydrogen inside. But the vehicle has all kinds of safety sensors throughout the vehicle so if anything were uh, compromised the entire system would shut down to prevent you know any hazards and a lot of people don't realize that hydrogen is not as flammable as gasoline because it dissipates very quickly once it's exposed. Uh, so again, lots of safety testing, and you're going to see these technologies from other manufacturers as well. So again, Toyota is projecting about 2015 for fuel cell technology, and uh, you can always stay tuned to that information by. Uh, 1986 Chrysler GMC C.